DW, man. Mr. Motherfucking Underground. It's been a pleasure, brother. Your boy Space Case. Martian Scorsese. Let's go. I'm hitting levels you can't touch with infinite hands You're only passionate cause you can't make no different plans I called it quits but was resurrected by the fam Advancing in every space that's missions to the advance DW you fed me the necessary fuels Was getting hungry looking at your whack fucks like food All your food stuff in your face is what your phony praises My mouth is salivating like I can also taste it The gold of honor is honesty obviously Whoever's in your corner with you dishonored it honestly When truth hits I hope their heads ain't ashamed Wanna play it? Until they realize rap ain't a fucking game You shoot off at the mouth till your target's in range I work for mine, motherfucker, we are not the same And Mr. Underground is with me, salute the man This one's for you, for me, for us, and for the fam MC Envy, what up? My brother Tigger, what up? Pestilence, what up? My brother Weasel, what up? Mr. Blue, what up? Nate Nash, what up? I be bumping, what up? DJ OG, what up? Dusty Cast, what up? DW, what up? God Division, what up? Grind Mode, what up? Mad World, what up? Cypher Dead, what up? WI, what up? The Midwest, what up? Ah, uh, another change, positive things. See you struggle those ways, we're in opposite lanes. You sneak diss and play it pussy. Play like you win, act like you do so much for hip hop, huh? Hooray! Wish I could pat you on the back with the bug knock. Unlike you, dude, we can't stop, won't stop. You caught feelings when your panties bust up. Been busy talking up to these fucks, catching you up. I'm cool, I'm the slide with your crew on the side When it's time to ride, who's got who you or not? Big picture, your eyes the wrong size to bear witness Tell me to mind what, this is music, my business Don't fuck it up for those holding it down This is a whole world, it ain't just a sound I ain't gatekeeping, I'm respecting it always As things progress to a passage of constant change Tap daddy, what up? Certainty, what up? Restless mind, what up? Yo, true, what up? Mars one, what up? My brother Gamble, what up? My dude Akua, what up? All Grail, what up? A Jalifax, what up? Expose, what up? My dude the Cleaver, what up? Dan Cool, what up? My homie Cliff, what up? Zach Cole, what up? Blood Red, what up? Jamal Shane, what up? Well said, Urban Legend, Jay Burner, my homie Critter, MC Steph, Stream of Consciousness, Sam Ryan, Details, Sean Crutch, Shot this monster, my dude Mish, T Bags, my brother Kankles, we all here, my society, and let them know. Uh. Holy fuck your hood. Oh, fuck, bro. Fuck, bro. You want me to have the window open, though, when we start? <clears throat> I, mean, I, I already hit record, so. Ah, fuck. You missed that boat. That's why I said fuck, bro. Fuck, bro. Fuck, bro. Fuck, bro. Fuck, bro. Fuck, bro. This is uh, fuck, bro. I'm here with uh, Space Big Case, MC Envy, and Nate. No, 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 nasty. Yeah, there it is. There's the stream <laughs> they're all looking for. So yeah, we're back yeah. again with some more uh, music. You share with your to... name, mate. Yeah, we're we're back with some more music to to consider for the podcast. So I hope you guys brought your your harsh criticism with you. Was, uh, yeah, you better be ready. So we're gonna start off. We uh we had one from this dude last week, Rico Daquan, and it did make the playlist. Uh, this one is called Good Time. Parentheses get sturdy, which just on its own is a pretty ridiculous thing to say to somebody, and I think I might just have to steal that to just start saying to people in public, "Hey, you need to get sturdy." <laughs> you gotta, you gotta be rubbing their belly when you say it. <laughs> you gotta get sturdy, brother. You <laughs> get <You're> sturdy. <laughs> oh, yeah. So yeah, we're, we're gonna start with this one. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll meet up here, have everybody else meet up, and we'll. Uh, We'll give it a peek. What order are we going in? Uh, let's let Envy go first, and then Space, and then you, and then I'll go last. Is everybody in? Strapped in, looking for chickies. Huh. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you get huh. started, let me see go crazy. Right here. Here. You feel? Yeah. Uh, 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 
the soak it. Drippity, drippity, I can say she's a hand metal in Italy. Double C, double G, double F, in me. I want the shoes with the L in the V. Spiggity, spiggity, splat. I got the jacket to go with the hat. I got the 30 to go with the strap. I got the card if I ain't got the cash. Yeah, don't sound like a puddle. I spin bass with some shit out the stutter. I hit the hook and I made me some motor. She say I look good, she gon' eat me like muscles. Huh, huh, yeah, yeah. I just put this on the around my torso. All of this water, I need me a snuggle. But love with that wood with the folks in the logo. Huh, huh. doing nasty no 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 you no, need no, to no. you need to get sturdy brother you need to get sturdy on that fucking play button brother <laughs> nah <laughs> that was uh rico daquan with get sturdy we're gonna let mc envy give us the the first uh rundown here oh man there's so much <laughs> literally i mean that's I, I think I was going to have a panic attack because there was just so much. <laughs> that, that's like a fucking Taylor Swift thing playing in the background or whatever the fuck that is, but that sample <laughs> drove fucking nuts. Is that what that is? Taylor Swift? I, I, it sounds like it. I don't know it's what some, it is. Some I sort of it's Katy Perry. I believe it's, it's Katy Perry. Jesus. Katy Perry? Nate's our resident Katy Perry expert, so it does <laughs> make sense to defer to him on that. Well, dos tatas. Yeah, um, it's. Uh, I I feel like the first verse was not good, and it didn't mash or mesh. The second verse, he picked a better line uh, for continuing something that sounded good to the beat. He was writing it a little better, but with such a simple beat because it was almost like a trap type thing it was like i don't know if it's that easy you have the the freedom then when i don't know it's just no no yeah, i don't like yeah. it. You got he, 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 as a MG. a lot better i feel like yeah. he picked he picked a line where he could have really said some shit and he had a lot of opportunities with the way he was delivering and like he never really said anything so i, I i'm just no and then jesus christ the, nate the, <laughs> the, <laughs> that was going on i was like bro what the fuck is happening like i want to see the video of this <laughs> you, you know what you know what that reminded me of like you ever watch them videos of like michael jackson dancing but like without the music and there's <laughs> yeah. like 
they're making all the sound effects. Like, that's what I was thinking, the whole thing, man. <laughs> I was yeah. imagining um, people having a faux karate fight. <laughs> but not, I'm, I'm, yeah. a, I'm a no on that. And it's not even like uh, a hateful no. It's like, a, I, I feel like you could do better. You could have did better with it. You just got a little muffled on us, Scotty. We heard it, but it was a little, I don't know if you covered the mic with your hand. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, that, seems like that could have been the case. Uh, my, mine's, I'm a no, because I feel like you could have did better. All right, that's one no. We'll move off to Mr. A Space Case. Ugh. Yeah, I'm also, I'm also going to say no. Um, and I mean, like, oh, oh, excuse me. It was a... Uh, oh, man, I got a fucking... I don't know, I hate listening to this shit on my phone because, like, it, it sounded really bad. Um, and I don't know if that's just because of my phone or what, but I mean, like, sound quality-wise, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just... It wasn't there. And especially, like, it, it's supposed to be a hype track, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I feel like with those type of tracks, to get that type of vibe across, like, the sound quality needs to be there. Uh, and then... I, <laughs> You know, this isn't my type of track to begin with. Like, this isn't my style. Um, but usually, like, you know, even if it's not my style, I can respect the bars or I can respect the beat or, you know, um, honestly, like, I respect the ad libs and shit on this track, like, more than anything. Because, you know me, man, I mean, I'm all about them fucking off the wall ad libs and, and the fucking bonkers shit. Um, I think it was, I think it was a little played out. Like, it wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't done very tasteful, but. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, there were like no bars that really stuck out. Um, and I just, I had a hard time even hearing the bars because like I said, man, I don't know if it's because of my fucking phone or what, but yeah, I don't know. I, there wasn't, <laughs> you know, once again, it's probably just cause that ain't my fucking style, but there wasn't much good for me to take away from that, that track at all, man. I just, I wasn't feeling it. Not at all. The ending went on for fucking ever. They could have cut that shit like at the end of the song. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know, that beat, it just sounded like a loop. Like, it didn't sound like there was any progression and it builds up, build up, no fucking, uh, no drops, no nothing really. It just sounded like, sounded like they took fucking eight bars of a beat and literally just looped it. So, yeah. Well, I'm still going to say no. I'm still gonna say no after all that fucking that whole, all that positive just, stuff you just said. Yeah, I, I couldn't even change my mind on that one, man. That's, <laughs> that's a no. All right, the Scots are both in agreement that it's a no. <laughs> the Scots. Wisconsin, great Scott. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, nasty. It's up to you. I feel like I agree with what um, both of these gentlemen said. The lyrics didn't wow me. Uh, the sample, it could have been used very creatively, but I feel like they just looped the sample and threw some percussion in it. And so to me, it sounded hollow. It didn't sound like it was like an attempt to actually make a good song, like you're more so doing it to do it. Like, hey, I, I told homie I'd rap, I'd rap over Katy Perry. You know, it seemed more... Like it was, they said I couldn't do it, so I did it. But should you have? I, uh, so it's a no for me. Uh, All right, that's three no's, and it all and, comes uh, down to me, which my fault will mean nothing. But the the karate shit at the end, I, 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 <laughs> I tried taking it the track as seriously as I could, but I think that was like the nail in the coffin. And it was a really long nail tapped in very slow. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, you this, sure do have a way to do it. this, uh, it disappointed me because, uh, I actually really enjoyed the last track that we heard, uh, from this guy. And I think it was because, <clears throat> The last track, it wasn't necessarily about the bars. It was like he had some melody stuff going on. He had a good voice. Um, I thought the, the sample there was creative. Um, and it was it was kind of short and sweet, and it fit that 
style of looping stuff like this where you don't have to get super because i'm okay with somebody not getting super crazy with a beat um if they keep something short and sweet you throw in a track you have somebody really bar out or do something like if they're singing singing well or doing something like it's that's dope too those are good tracks to throw in there um i don't think this hit that mark i felt like this was kind of like <clears throat> like nate was saying it was like a beat that you would um your buddy said, oh, you can't do this. It just sounds like something that got downloaded off of YouTube. Um, and even with a beat like that, I would say uh, if the the rapping was more um, impressive, that, that can overcome that. And uh, like the sample didn't bother me. Like it wasn't annoying to me. I thought like that sample could have been um, fun for a hype track. I thought the fucking, the tagline gets sturdy is hilarious to me. Like that's awesome. I wish the track was. I wish. I wish the track was a banger because I would love to be yelling "get sturdy" at people. Um, but I think it, it it missed the mark. So I would also give it a no. Um, and I think it it just felt like it was not on the same level of um, lightning in a bottle as the last one that we heard um, from you. So I would definitely, uh, yeah, I would uh, encourage encourage more of a. You know, if you're going to do something that's simple as far as the beat and the, the production and all that stuff, you really got to fucking kill it. As a lyricist, you really got to smash it. And the beat, like Scotty said, was kind of a simple beat. It's kind of a, a beat that has a lot of free space. It's a beat that, like, if you if you, if, like, if you throw fucking Aesop Rock on that beat, I'm sure he would do something disgusting with it. If you throw, throw like, Black Thought on that beat, I'm sure he would do something disgusting with it. Ari the Rugged Man do something disgusting with it it would probably be a cult hit you know and this this is just like a if you're gonna do something so simple on a beat you really gotta be impressive with the lyrics and the delivery and all that stuff and i feel like you you just didn't have it there homie so so yeah that being said we will uh we'll skip that one for the playlist and we're gonna move on to the next one this was sent in from the homie uh mr east shout out to, to mr east appreciate you i see you've been tuning in I try to get in those live chats during the premieres, and uh, I see you've been in there pretty frequently, so I appreciate you checking out the podcast and uh, oh, yeah. sending us some fucking dope tracks, brother. The, the tracks you've sent so far have been dope. I don't know about these Lava Tamazid Ganeasis, but uh, I hope those guys are fucking dope, too. And uh, I will be sitting out on this one. <laughs> no, I'll you will not. Segment. I'll, I'll use my wrong, segment. Bro. Segment to talk about some behind the scenes, but I will not be voting because it's a conflict of interest. I don't care. You're still voting. I'll, you're gonna vote. Right. You're That's right. That vote out of you. You can't abstain and then complain about the state of your government. You better fucking vote, motherfucker. Vote or die, motherfucker. <laughs> All right. This is fatally by lobotomized geniuses. Fuck. <laughs> fucking goddamn it. I was supposed to be here at three o'clock. Shit. Your boss is mad, man. You ain't you late? He's on one a day. Man, I don't give a fuck about that. He took my insulin from me. He said no shooting up on the job. What the fuck is wrong with that guy? Fire bumping and nasty today. And round down payroll? Shit. I'm out fuck someone's day. Nothing like the bottomized tea. Mad world, right? Well, looks like Jennifer's in. Time to get this shit show started. Hey, Jennifer. I see you just walked in. I need you to meet up with me on the other end of town after work today. I don't give a fuck. You said you need that raise. But what I need you to do right now, I need you to send in, uh, what's his fucking name? Bumpy? Bumpin'? Yeah, that's the one. Send that doofus in here. Blimpy, sit, Blimpy, sit the fuck down. We got shit to talk about. Come on. So, again, Blimpy, Blumpy, whatever the fuck your name is, Oompa Loompa for all I care, all right? I have customers complain about the way you dress. It's goofy as shit. What is this, fucking Gilligan's Island? Fat fuck. You fat fuck. What are 
are you doing? Crying? I mean, goodness sakes, man. Your days were fucking numbered anyway, but you're like, what the fuck are you really doing? You're fucking wasting the time, man. You some gutter motherfucker. Yeah. We stick together like we brothers. Uh, fuck the rest. We don't work rest. with others. Yeah. Hating me. Hating me. Hating me. me. But it's making me a beast and it's gonna end fatally. You some gutter motherfucker. Yeah. We stick together like we brothers. Uh, the rest, you don't work with others, they ain't hating me, they ain't greeting me, but it's making me a beast, and it's gonna end fatally. They think that they could stop me with the sloppy flow. You sound the same as all the haters. You a copy, bro. Yeah. I'm about to sun your corny rappers, eat a bar of soap. You the only stupid fuck that thinks your rhymes are dope. Nope, see, that's where we can't get there. So I'm the end it there. Yeah. Riding so much fire, like I'm sitting in an electric chair. They talking shit. I'm like, anywhere, so get prepared. Cause if you don't show up, I'm a roll up on you. Let's, uh, video. I don't want to do that one anyways. Let, no, let's try to, uh, let's pot. Let's just pot. Why don't you, uh, why don't you grab, uh, just the, can you get just the, the song without the video? Because I think that's what's doing it. Wait a minute. It's such a dope video, though. <laughs> it is a really dope video. That's why I sent the video because I wanted to do the video. You sent good. it, you motherfucker. I sent you the video. He sent in the song, and I sent you the video oh. version of the song because there's a video for it. But if you, yeah, if you can just pull up just the the audio version. Um, apologies on that one, folks. We uh, we're working with some residential internet, so. Uh, some of it does not have uh, the same high speeds that a lot of us city folk are uh, blessed to have. That's the probably profile. fucking scary. That's profiling, but all right. <laughs> it's more. <laughs> <laughs> My internet also sucks balls most of the time. This is why I'm not getting it. But I'm just gonna I'm gonna take it out of full screen, and I'm going to have my finger over the button to end task um because my computer works better when i'm threatening it with violence whether it's physical or the task manager are you just gonna try the song though nope you're trying the video again you guys want to start it from the beginning well if we're gonna do either of them we gotta start from the beginning so we're gonna try video again. There, there might be another technical bump here. Hopefully not. Just, just we'll we'll give it like thirty seconds. Okay. That video was for me the whole time. Yeah, it was huh? like the video was slow the whole time. Yeah. Yep. So let I me mean, know if this can... is any. Let yeah. me know if this is any better. Fucking god damn it. I'm supposed to be here at 3 o'clock. Shit. Boss is mad, man. You ain't you late? He's on one a day. Man, I don't give a fuck about I'm voting no. We're gonna have to just do uh, just the song. Alright, well you're gonna have to wait a second. Let's move on to the next song. And then we'll bring this one back. Okay, so we're gonna come All back right. to Fatally. You fucking cocksucker. You're gonna make the song that I'm on be the first one that gets reviewed with us? I see what you did there, little fucking Uno skip card. Son of a bitch. Reverse me then. <laughs> oh, here's the link right here. 
for your soul. <laughs> reverse, reverse. All right, so can you let me let people know? <laughs> so this is a okay. song that was sent in by the homie DW Underground. Uh, it's a song he just released with uh, the homie Anta, I believe, who is also from Sweden, um, for their Rhyme Scene Investigation Project. Um, they reached out to me, sent me a beat, and uh, this was the song that came out of it. It's called Quit Joking. So, so let's give this a listen. Two face media, such a music. Let's go. Let's get these motherfuckers. Y'all whack. We mean it. If you ain't got skills, quit speaking. We're dope. Y'all know it. You versus us, quit joke, come on, y'all whack, we mean it, if you ain't got skills, quit speak, we're dope, y'all know it, yeah. you versus us, quit joke, all the monster is back, but I'm not aiming to scare kids, I'm in a roast y'all and clearly lying on my earrings, don't you want to barbecue, you better hear this, pick you apart, bone by bone and eat that spare rib, I'm the boogeyman, a pair of you are living the dream, when the game get destroyed, you can probably it to me, listen to me, you will never create something that's appealing to me, my shit's a royal, you will certainly go piss in your jeans, cause I hate this shit, the love and respect is long gone, see your girl is getting screwed and the limbs chopped off, I'm here to shake the game around to make a real difference, Focus as hell with skill enough to make this my meal tickets, I've been behind bars for 18 years, for murdering the game, not that the mainstream cares, I'm not planning on leaving anytime soon, I care too much, I'm staying put simply just to tear you up. You whack motherfuckers The monster is still here Cause I ain't ever left the scene I've been around putting nightmares in your rap dreams You couldn't see me with your John Cena vision glasses A student of the game, you'll never see me skipping classes Y'all just moving like some thick molasses I'm an Arizona wildfire, turn your house to fucking ashes All you see is muscle flashes when you ain't get a beast You ain't making bread if you ain't raising the yeast The streets made me I got an unhealthy diet of whack rappers that I'm eating daily I call it junk food That's probably the reason they ain't inviting me back They can't fuck with my mic They can't even touch my merch sales That hurts your feeling like you stubbed your toenail Peace Y'all whack We mean it If you ain't got skills, quit speaking We're dope Y'all know it You versus us, quit your Come on Y'all whack We mean it If you ain't got skills, quit speaking We're dope Y'all know it yeah. Yeah. All right. People know my name, hey. but don't know how to spell it. So haters never seen when they act and jealous. I'm still a young king, hanging with the fellas. Right. I'm in the right market and I know how to sell it. I keep on making moves, I guess I pick and choose to be ahead of rhyme and hanging with the goons. Check it, I'm always on the case. Agent Mother in the fucker with this California ways. I stay over, got the love when I tear it down. You know I got the crown, the leader in this town. When I visualize my goals, like goals, taking it back. It's I keep on running time. forward so I never get sacked. I'm what MCs messing with dark arts of getting the limit and no forgiveness. The hard part of obsession, impressive, if not the best. And the question with all the rest, it's cool if you're down to fuck, but don't fuck with a cipher then. I'm saying, if I was God or a king for the weekend, I'd take a bunch of shrooms, then rhyme with my three friends. I'm crazy, Norris Barkley or Jason. I'm pacing constantly to face today, but onto the stage now that's home. Turn a rapper into bones If he fucking with my people No more splash of this cabron I'm as ugly as a wart And what is known As the nastiest of pathogens A body's ever grown I'm ill I take a pack of pests Upon your syndicate The spiders in my corner Like the Elder Scrolls Oblivion What I'm saying is If you have not been listening Then you don't need to talk about it No one likes an idiot Y'all whack We mean it If you ain't got skills Quit speaking We're dope Y'all know it you versus us, quit your come on, y'all whack. We mean it. If you ain't got skills, quit speak. We're dope, y'all know it. You versus us, quit your all right. Y'all whack, whack, whack. All right, that was <clears throat> Quit Joking by Anta, produced by DW Underground.
featuring me, Zodiac, and Lycos. I'm going to let uh, Mr. Nathaniel Nasty start us off. <laughs> Dope beat. Like, unique. I, I would have a hard time writing to that myself. I don't know why, but it was dope. The the hook really set really set a fucking precedent. It's like a march. It's like it's like very anthem like. Um, the first two dudes were fucking dope. But that last guy, man. So... <laughs> Yeah, that, that sucks. Funny. Nah, that dude's dope. I feel like I feel like because I've heard this before, I'm a little biased because I I've, I've liked this song. I first heard uh, heard the rough. Um, but this is what we do. We we, you know, people send it in, we react to it. Uh, I like yeah. it. It's dope. Dope track. You heard the rough? Mean. That's the R U F F. Yeah. Right? Code word for yeah. all, all two face media ruffies. Yeah, I was all like drunk as hell on a Discord call of Pesto and we were showing each other raps. Yeah, dude, do you know how fucking gangster that is? That's 2024, bitches. Fucking two grown men drinking alone in their homes, having a video chat, yelling poems to each other. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm angry oh, at the yeah. world and I'm making it your problem. <laughs> All right, I'll let Scotty go next. That was dope. I liked it. Yeah, that's a yeah. Um, DW, fucking per usual, sounded amazing. The progressive organ in the background kind of kept it up tempo. That so everyone. Everyone took that flow and wrote it. You know, you, you did a great job. Um, the hook was simple, but you were saying things, and that's all that's really required of a fucking hook. I, you, you said things. It wasn't like you weren't saying nothing. You were, you were talking that poop. <laughs> There's one thing I know. It's that poop. <laughs> So let's see, yeah, everyone did their thing. Every verse was good. Um, <coughs> it checked all the boxes. Very good. All righty. And that's Just, the first I've heard it. I'm like, Nate. I thought so. I thought that was the first time you heard it. I know that I'm pretty sure Space Case has also heard this song, but I'm going to let him go next. Yeah, I, uh, I've heard it once before, once all the way through. Um, I've caught snippets of it here and there besides that, but... But yeah, man, I love that track. Um, I like the beat. And I mean, this is a good example, too, you know, where like the beat, it's like, what the fuck is it? Like a, an eight bar loop, you know what I'm saying? Just looped all the way through the song. And I, I think that's all it is. But all the different MCs definitely kept it alive. Um, Anta, who I believe was the first verse, um, I'm kind of getting a little more familiar with his shit. Uh, I, don't, I don't think his verse was that strong in this one, but I mean, like, he's just... He's got a presence, you know what I'm saying? He's got a fucking delivery and shit. And like, he's just, he just, he sounds like, like he knows what he's doing on the mic. You know what I'm saying? So like he could, I don't know, he could say some stupid shit and make it sound fucking cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I don't know. Everyone, everyone did their fucking thing, man. I agree with like the, the anthem, the anthemy, anthemic, anthematic, the fucking uh, anthem-like hook. <laughs> anthemic? I don't know. Anthemic? <laughs> Yeah, there we go. We need to straight up do a fucking word of the day. Yeah. yeah Sorry. Yeah. We fucking should. Um, but yeah, and I don't know, it was dope though. You know what I'm saying? Like it is one of those hooks that like it's very simple, but it's like very, very fucking to the point. You know what I'm saying? I like that shit. I dig it. So I'm going to say no. Oh, we got Ivy Bumpin' in the stream today. <laughs> I can't give out guesses is. like, like. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, no, I dig it. Put it on the fucking playlist, please. Oh, I don't yeah. even care what you say about it. Okay. It don't matter anyway. Well, then I won't. Oh, man, oh, I thought the oh, track sucked. Oh, That's yeah. a no for me. No. <laughs> no, I, uh, 
Yeah, I will, this was actually the first track that I ever got to work on with uh, DW Underground. Um, he sent me the beat. He kind of told me, hey, I'm doing this project with this MC called Rock Scene Investigation. Would you drop a verse and a hook? So I dropped the verse and a hook and I sent it to him. Um, I didn't have any idea what the song was going to become. I thought it might have just been me and Anta. Um, and he's somebody I've become more familiar with as well because uh, he sent me some other tracks uh, we've kind of worked with back and forth. Um, and he's somebody that I'm actually thinking of sending some stuff to as well because um, I really like his style, um, like Space said, he's got a presence on the mic. Um, I think he's got a lot of like really clever, clever punchlines and bars, um, if not necessarily in this song and a lot of the stuff I've heard from him. Um, he's really witty. Um, and he says some some pretty funny and clever stuff. And this is the other thing, dude. This guy's first language is not English, and he's still you know smashing a mic like that. And a lot of you got fucking yeah. whack dudes are fucking rapping over your vocals and buying beat packs, features on them, and pretending, throwing auto tune all over your voice. And there's a dude from across the pond that didn't even grow up speaking this language that's spitting that shit fucking doper than you are. How's it feel, motherfucker? Uh, yeah. Um, and then uh, that was the first I heard of Zodiac and Lycos. Um, I thought they both did their thing, um, especially Zodiac, man. I really liked his style. Um, I want to find out where exactly in Arizona he is and how far away he is from our brother Mars One and uh, potentially oh, make those two guys up because I know Mars has been throwing shows and shit together. Um, and yeah, man, that was a uh, yeah. It's a it's a yes for me. Obviously, I'm a little biased, but. Uh, I, I really love the beat. Um, it was kind of like a Christmas present. It was one of those things where I sent out a verse and a hook, and I got it back way later, and it had, you know, three other MCs on it, and it was a full track. Um, that's always a really fun experience as an artist when you're making a song. You finish it up, especially if you're doing features. You don't know what the fuck the song's going to sound like. You don't have that vision in your head. You I mean, maybe you do. But you don't have control over that, so I don't think I don't really ever think too harshly into. Hey, I wonder what this is gonna sound like when it's done. I just kind of send it off and go, well, well, we'll see. And then I get yeah. to hear it later, and it's it's always such a fun experience. And uh, it was a it was a blessing being able to link up with DW, um, bring them into the fam, um, and uh, yeah, that's it's it's been super super dope. We've gotten we've gotten a lot of work out of them already, man. Um, no joke, man. And there's a, there's a lot more to come, so make sure to check him out. We'll have links. We'll have links. We'll probably try to get him on the podcast here one of these weeks soon as well too, because it'd be fun to sit and chat with DW. I don't think I've ever, I've ever got to sit down and chat with him. I don't know if anybody else has. But, uh, oh, not really. Yeah, it'll be fun to chop it up with the homie. So, yeah, I'm happy that you brought up that Swedish shit though, because like that whole song, I was waiting to hear some thick accent. Like, I thought you said they were from Sweden. I thought you said one of these motherfuckers is Sweden. Sweden. Yeah, the first guy. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, dude, he sounds like an East Coast rapper. It's like yeah, crazy. Does. Oh, All right. Who, if there is any way for him to steal, not, not steal, but borrow like some of that culture, I'm happy it was from fucking there. You know? Fuck yeah. <laughs> no fucking joke. Um, so Zodiac was the, the cat from Arizona, right? Yes. Okay. I, and what's, the other, what's the other cat's name? Lycos, but I don't know where he's from. It sounded like maybe California. Yeah, I heard him spit, spit, uh, spit some California bar in there, but yeah, you never know. Yeah, that could mean nothing. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah, dope track, dude. I like that shit. Oh, yeah, that man. fucking beat, man. That beat is just fucking cool. So I love when guitars are used in beats. It's pretty rare when they're like, especially yeah. like rock guitar. It's right. so fun. Right. I love that, especially with Boom Bap. Yeah, man. But uh, we got Me Nasty has brought up Fatally uh, in the media player. This is the song that was sent in by Mr. East. And actually, real quick before he plays this, I know we only had the snippets of the video and it was all choppy, but the guy you got to see acting, drinking the lobotomized tea, that's our that's our brother, Mr. East. So shout out to him. Um yeah, we're gonna throw that video in the link too below when uh, when we post this video, so you guys will be able to check that video out. I highly encourage you to. The homie Jackness Monster Entertainment put it together. Uh, the boys lobotomized geniuses, and it's uh, it's a 
it's a funny ass video. So we're gonna we're gonna get to hear the song that uh, that was kind of getting chopped up there here in the flesh. Fuck bro. Fuck bro. Fuck bro. so much fire like I'm sitting in an electric chair they talk it shit I'm like men and rare so get prepared cause if you don't show up I'ma roll up on you and impair let's set this straight y'all are whack and that's no way to rhyme and giving you any attention is a waste of time y'all are sloppy little droplets on a great design so drink your glass full of cyanide and lay your pine I'm with you kind cause I could have been just brutal wrap a cord around your neck until it turned into a noodle that's the usual, but I had to change your heart yeah. Y'all don't know how many rappers that I had to take apart It's some good and motherfuckers yeah. We stick together like we brothers uh, Fuck the rest, we don't work rest. with others yeah. They've been hating me, hating me, degrading me But it's making me a beast and it's gonna end fatally It's some good and motherfuckers yeah. We stick together like we brothers uh, Fuck the rest, fuck we don't rest. work with others They've been hating me, hating me Fatally by Lobotomized Geniuses. And I'll go first on this one, because I haven't got to go first yet. Dude, that second guy, I don't know what the fuck that guy has got going on. No, dude, this shit... Woo! This shit was fucking dope, man. I... That, that beat, dude. That beat. This is the thing. So we linked up with Lobotomized at the Mad World Grind Mode event. And that was the first time I, I remember hearing them a couple times, like loose tracks here and there through the Sunday Night Grind. Um, but like, it wasn't like, like, I just remember being like, oh yeah, those guys were dope. But I never dove in, you know, I never went and listened to a bunch of their music and stuff like that. I wasn't super familiar. They were like somebody that I like. They, their song would get played before a song that like we were submitting. So that we're listening to all the feedback on our stuff and then get totally distracted and then didn't really I didn't go dive deep so the first time I really got exposed to these guys was at that event live 
Um, and the first thing I remember thinking after hearing like a few of their songs was like looking at space and being like, did you fucking produce these guys beats? Like, because he makes, has always made like these really obscure off the wall beats that like sound like no one, no one makes beats like that. And then we met Bump and Bump makes beats like that too. Like they both have this like brotherhood sound and they never knew each other but it's like a it's the two-faced media flavor and uh it, it's here in full force on this track um i really love the fucking hook um i think that's one thing that i've noticed from listening to like the entire fat and violent project that just dropped make sure to check it out on Bandcamp. you bottomized geniuses fat and violent that shit's dope as hell um i got a oh, city yeah. in my car and uh with this song and with like every track on there it's like these guys will put together a really strong really catchy hook um not all it's not formulaic though it's like all the hooks are different but the hooks are always really solid and then both of these guys do a great job of like staying on topic being creative they got unique deliveries they're their vocal patterns and their deliveries both are just, just make for like a really good um, kind of parody. And I really, really like one of my favorite fandoms to listen to. These guys are from the content to the, the craft and skill, just absolutely top tier. We're lucky to have snagged them off the board from uh, all the mother whack motherfuckers. Right, before uh, Anno Domini got to him. Yeah, Anno Domini was going to try and sign them and steal them away from us and plunder all their magnificent beats and sell them to you for three ninety nine. But if you want some bumping beats with some Nate hooks and and free collabs from from the squad, (laughs) hit up nothing. We'll sell you and whoever the fuck else wants the same shit over and over again. They care about integrity. I don't. Yeah. It's a good market. It's me money. All right, we'll let it. We'll let uh, Envy go next. Yeah, I, I, I might be biased because I've heard and seen that before, but it's, uh, it's a dope track. It was like probably outside of the grind mode fit one of the first LG songs I heard. I think. It sounds about right. It would be one of the earlier ones for me, too. Yeah, and I was like, damn, that's pretty dope. Yeah, you guys, you both wrote it. It was, I like, it, it kind of reminds me a little bit of, like, early Chump Service with some of the beats that Mud used to make in the beginning of his beat-making career. <laughs> um, yeah, it was dope. I like that shit. Yeah, it's a yes for me, by the way. Yeah, it's obviously. a yes for me. If that wasn't obvious, I said yeah. yeah. I didn't say. Sorry, yeah. officer. I, I meant to say. No, yes. no, no. I I just clarified <laughs> that I didn't even say yes or no or anything. So was that a yes, yeah, sure? No, sir, sir. sir. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How is it? All right, space case. I guess. But I'll say yes. Um, with that track, because I know you guys are like comparing my beats to, to to their beats, but like that isn't I don't know. Like the beats for that track isn't really appealing to me. But what is is you know fucking <laughs> uh, whatever, Bob. Fuck it. <laughs> That's why I put it to you guys. Like out of all the fucking LG tracks, well I know Pesto. I know you made the reference before with some other LG tracks too that. You know, Bumper and I kind of have similar, I don't know, palettes, I guess, when it comes to fucking producing these beats. But, uh, but yeah, like, this beat wasn't very appealing to me. It's it's the fucking, it's the two MCs, you know what I'm saying? The fucking, uh, and, like, I think, I don't know, man, I think Bumpin and Nate, like, you guys can make the wackest shit ever. You know what I'm saying? But, like, you guys would just make it sound dope. And I don't know if it's because, like, I know the characters behind the music or what, but, like, you guys are both, like, you're just fucking unique. You know what I'm saying? You got unique voices. You got fucking unique styles, you know, unique deliveries and shit. Even, like, 
even the bars and then you guys are so different from each other too where it's like i don't know if a fucking lg track could ever get boring you know what i'm saying because you guys are just you guys are just so fucking different but like bumping i don't know man he he cracks me up dude he fucking he 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 makes me fucking break down sometimes just like hearing his voice and his delivery and like some of the shit he says man just fucking trips me up <clears throat> and then nate always comes with like always comes with bars fucking proper proper fucking bars man so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. this track is definitely a yes for me i know i kind of went off on a fucking tangent a little bit but i mean i don't know man i think we're all partially biased because we all we're all fucking closet lg fans apparently but i'm not a closet lg fan i'm fucking loud and proud bumping that shit to the crowd yeah yeah it's because you're weird because yeah. you wear a mask oh like, yeah that's why i'm weird like that and not be shamed out in public me and envy though man we you know we got to watch ourselves yeah but I show, I show my whole colon in public <laughs> i've seen it yeah more than i would like to admit see i referred i referred to mine earlier as a, as my cigar cutter yeah <laughs> old lady was getting a little too close and i was like you're gonna lose a fucking digit I was going to say, wow, a cigar cutter. You got a, you got some Cubans in there or something? Yeah. <laughs> Not currently. But I did, bucks, see, I did see that that's been on Prime. Teeth. On Prime? Yeah, yeah. it's on, it's on Good. Prime now. You seen it? I don't think so. I heard about it, though. But if it's Yo, worth watching, I'll, I'll go watch next it. Time, next time we have a fucking Discord movie night, that's like, we got to watch that. It's been a while since I watched that. So you just, yeah. you just gotta pretend it's Nate and his butthole, of, uh, <laughs> the, the woman in that fucking movie, and her okay. vagina. I will. But yeah, I will. man, dope track. The video, the video is so fucking dope too, man. I wish we could have got the video to play because, like, the video that takes oh. the dope song and makes it the dopest. You know what it I'm saying? It is down there. It will be down there for anybody watching this. Go click down in the mm -hmm. more. What's Finish that link doing in your episode. pants, bro? It's down Check there. out the fucking link for real. Because I mean, even if you don't like the song, you're gonna like the video. Like yeah. the fucking the video is, it's yeah. it's superb. Shout out to fucking Jocko, man. Jockness, Jockness oh, yeah. Monster Entertainment. The, he put together a fucking dope video. Yes. Shout out to the homie Mad World for allowing yeah, the venue. The world. Yeah. No shit. No shit. That's the that's the brother. Huh? Mm -hmm. Like this what? village, <laughs> yeah, the Wisconsin roots, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big up to well, the I, I didn't know if they knew that that was happening there. That's why I'm like, do we even? Yeah, they <laughs> they, they, they knew they approved. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, we'll let Nate uh, Nate kind of give us a little bit of feedback on that, and then we'll get into this last track we got. Um, I'm just gonna like. My intention was never self-promotion, so I'm going to say no. But I, I'm i going to just talk about the song. That song, I had just finished writing my verse right before we came down for the Mad World Cypher. That's how long we, we tend to sit on music for. Like, that was a couple years, and that shit finally came up. But, um, yeah, the, the video was fun. There's a scene, this joke that I make at the beginning of the video... Um, we had to reshoot the scene like three times. One, because I wasn't even in the room when he entered. Two, because when he walked in, I made the, the he took my insulin. He told me no shooting up on the job. And everybody who was behind the scenes busted out fucking laughing over in the corner. So we had to redo it. And uh, yeah, that, that whole video shoot was fun as fuck. Yeah. Um, if you do watch the video, you'll know you'll notice that I am no actor. My nephew uh, comes in and he plays he plays the hater that I kind of deal with, and uh, like we do not find each other threatening whatsoever. And so pretending that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> We're some silly motherfuckers who will fold your laundry while you're in it. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, I don't know, it was fun. Shout out to Jocko. Jocko storyboarded that whole thing. He's like amazing with that. He was like, hey, send me the song. He'll listen to it. He'll get some ideas and then he'll fucking make them happen. Like oh, yeah. we got so 
like one of the times when we get some probably this spring or summer we're going to be uh shooting a video for an old song that i did oh yeah and that's gonna that's gonna have some 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 unique jocko flavor in that shit oh, yeah. yeah anyone who needs videos hit up darkness monster also you can hit us up too we, we we're more than happy to help y'all yeah we also have mr nice well films i just got done shooting a video with him uh on monday of this week for for an upcoming project but well, let's get into this oh, last yeah. joint man i've been seeing this this cover art here it's, been, it's a lot of weird shit going on here um we've got a uh, wyhm cypher this is brody dudester featuring ptb jada uk clarky artist so poetic mins and Cassian. ptb is uh playboy the beast okay, i'm a so, big fan of him i i haven't heard this but okay so yeah. so it's playboy the beast jada uk clarky artist poetic Mins and Kazniak. I don't know how many do. Oh, Clarky Poetic Artist. Mins. Poetic Mins and Kazniak. Okay, and then Jada UK. All right. Damn. Who, who is this is what it feels like to be a boomer? Brody Dudester did. Oh, yeah, okay. Brody. I'm just uh, reading no. all the names together as one. I mean, there are no commas, but they, it is on the That's a verse. Mark in front of me, so I should have known. <laughs> Is this what it's like to be a boomer? That's what it felt like, dude. I was like, oh, shit. All right. So let's get into this, boys. Seven <laughs> minutes long. Hell yeah. Fuck. Fuck yeah. Fuck, bro. Fuck, bro. Fuck, bro. A technical difficult. This is scuffed. Bear with us. As a Nathaniel sure. Nasty fix a problem. Guess we can't listen to that song. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> no, we gotta listen to it. What's your fix, Nate? Uh, my fix is closing the app and reopening. Oh, I'm doing okay. a simple power cycle. That's fair. So allow me to, because uh, I'm not gonna log in just for, just for the last video. Oh, um, this uh, this current stream is brought to you by uh, Ivy Bumpin, aka what what is it, uh, Mister? What studio? Or nine two zero. Two one eight. Two one eight. Silence. Eight. Labs. Silence. Silence Labs. The science Labs. Mister Two One Eight Science Labs. I be bumping, oh, aka Fish Boy, or Boy Fish Boy. <laughs> he's uh, he's now officially accepting business. I believe as mix 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 engineer and the uh, and production. That's on a nine uh two one eight science Arabs. And he's one of few people that can get you a free verse from me. I think but the Islands Labs. You don't want that. Or they cut that pooty tang. Yeah, but yeah, he uh, he's he's uh, he's a talented individual. Uh, we've, sure. we've got to see him behind the scenes. Kind of, he showed me how to, to chop samples and stuff the other day, um, and how he does it. So it was kind of interesting to watch him at work. It was just a mad scientist. Oh, fuck, bro! Oh, this sounds pretty good. Oh, check this out. He's like, hey, Nate, I'm making you a present. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe my ass with a big fucking brick. Yeah. Wipe that. my ass with a I'm big gonna... fucking brick. Wipe, wipe my ass with a, with a big brick. Took my nuts and chicken noodle soup. Spoilers. Yeah. Well, I'm the All vocal right. on that, so obviously. Every, everybody in? No. Yes. I, 
I really hope this works. I need a new PC. That's it is becoming a career. All right, you in there? bro, here we go again. Fuck bro. Take a torch to your face and watch the fucking skin melt I don't really want no friends, I'd rather kick it by myself I'm in the shadows lurking with a butcher knife, I move with stealth When I get my hands on you, you'll be the one pleading for help Cut your throat out, put it in a jar and keep it on my shelf Nobody was there when I was needing assistance So I snap and fucking lost it, now I'm leading the resistance Knowing nobody can save me, I'm through being optimistic Cause you had a chance to help me, now it's gone, you fucking missed it Would you help? 
Don't fuck around, I'm shooting twice like a motherfucking booster shot. If you make me lose the plot and lose the knot, I'll do the job. Future gone, I'm cut you loose as soon as blood drains and the bruising stops. Taking graves and moving on in truth, he's just trying to choose a spot. I'm gruesome, dig him up and move him to a new position. I need help, but who would listen? My mood is too capricious. Your boy avoids the crack, but I'm call me superstitious. I'll break your back, your face will match when they remove the stitches. I stay marked, stay marked, my main toss. Try and stay calm, gauge clock, my brain calms. Why they ask, they can't fight, they bomb. Rain not take charge, make pain more. I'm way dark, when near me on a peerly range. Drag you into eerie places, let the fear explain so clearly, and the fear remains. Fear the day, if you hear me say, Would you help me? Would you help me? My mind stay irate I am patiently waiting for the day that I break And turn the literal blind rage Why hate guy make eyes and I annihilate Cause I make lines designed to make your fiber shake I hate that all these motherfuckers play the victim So let me come and speak on all the little fucks I give them You claim to be the hardest little punk will come and spit some And I'll show you how it feels to blow some motherfucking shit up Arson with this shit I've been a barsmith on my grid I break apart on those who start or been a target of my gift Argue with the kid, I paint the target on your crib And drop a bomb up on your lawn like Nagasaki in this bitch Possibly I'm sick of variant virus called the cast flu A violent, vicious villain more than willing to come attack you Let me ask you Would you help me? Squeeze those last few seconds though. Thank you, Nancy. Fuck oh, bro! Would you help me? <laughs> I swear to God! <laughs> I swear to God! <laughs> I want to let Scotty go first. Oh no, you can't, oh, Nancy. You want to go first? Can we go oh, first? Nancy, yeah. can go first. Um, so I don't know exactly the order you guys were in. Um, I'm guessing that Brody went first. Brody Dudester. Yes. Um. I feel like the things he was saying was like, at times came off came off like a little, a little too chill. Like I I, I need you to put some stank on it, but otherwise you know solid, solid. Um, maybe a little bit too too much reverb for my taste, but dope dope shit. Um, Playboy the Beast. That's so when I li when I listen to Playboy the Beast, he's usually like really fucking like hard on it, and it, it was nice hearing him come at something so calm you know he's hard as fuck bringing bringing like elements of gangster rap back to the new fucking like mm -hmm. trap music fucking um chopper scene like he did some horrorcore for a while he's really well-rounded mc in my opinion and this one didn't disappoint it was just i usually hear him faster and it was nice hearing something different um the third guy i'm guessing that's uh jada I th well, I think so. I'm not positive. I don't know um, any of the other ones. It, anyways, the guy who's third on this, if it's Jada, you, like, you were dope. You're dope as fuck. Um, there's a couple parts where I feel like you were being fast just to be fast. And in my personal taste of music, I notice when I feel like sometimes when people are spitting fast, they're not really saying that much. But the way you did it, it was it sounded dope. I just couldn't follow it. Like, I got ADHD though, but oh, like overall, pretty good. Um, British dude was dope. Jack the Ripper, dope. Like that shit. Uh, and I'm guessing that's a UK clerky artist. 
Um, the fifth guy, you said some real shit, and I and I like that because that's how a lot of motherfuckers are. They're not to your face about the shit. They they talk talk a big game and don't don't do the shit. I rap about a lot of that stuff myself. Um, but you kind of came came really plain flat with it, and I need you to put more stank on it. But it like solid solid track, solid. You know, um, the hook got repetitive. I feel like if it's going to be that that you're going to have that many artists on the song, maybe cut it down from an eight or from the eight or to the four, or if it was four down to eight, down to the two, just so it's like you just keep it going. You know, you hit them one after another with these artists, so they can't fucking they can't keep up. Um, I feel like they did both. I feel like there was a couple fours and eights. Yeah. I feel yeah, like I it should have just been once at the beginning, once at the end. If you're going to put a hook on. But I mean, that, that many artists, I feel like that should have been a hook to begin with. Um, but this one, it's a yes. A yes for me. The, you know, the, the negatives that I mentioned, they're, they're far outweighed by the positives that I, that I mentioned. In my head canon. So. Okay. Scotty. Send in more Playboy the Beast. If you guys have Playboy the Beast collabs, I know this motherfucker does his shit and does his work. Sorry. <laughs> bet, bet. No, that's cool. That's cool. Um. So when I heard the first guy rap, and then I heard the hook right after him, I thought this whole song was going to be a fucking joke. Like, this was going to be bad. And... The second guy was fucking amazing. This the dude you're talking about, Nate? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. He was he was the dopest one. The third guy was really good too. The fourth guy, I think, is the one who was chopping like super fast for no fucking reason. Um yes. and there there's a reason that people don't do certain syllables at certain speeds because it just ends up being like the tongue twister taskmaster shit like skip it a gooby give it a gabba give it a gabba gooby give it it's like you're not really saying shit so nobody fucking cares um and this seventh guy there's seven right yeah 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 the, the seventh guy was pretty good he was decent for a closer um I, I, I kind of feel like a dick because I can't stand the voice of fucking UK rappers sometimes. Like, if you're not saying something dope, that accent drives me fucking insane in rap. I, I, it, and it, it's kind I'm of I'm on the same page, bro. I, I don't know why. I hear that I, a lot. I don't know bro. why. And the, the thing is, like, UK rappers always used to try and emulate what um the u.s did in hip-hop when they were doing hip-hop and now they're finally getting their own market and their own voice and they're not trying to sound like the u.s anymore and i think that in itself is dope as fuck but i don't like your fucking rap <laughs> well your accent anyway just like just like uh like die ant word shit i i can't in that region it might be really great but for me like i fucking hate your music <laughs> Um, no offense. <laughs> no, to each their own, man. That's that's what it is. That's just what it is. And maybe there you're pretty dope, and you know, whatever. But it's the the hook was the dumbest shit I've heard in a long time. I feel like no one tried at all. They're just like, oh fuck, we forgot to put a hook on here, and someone's like, well. Can you help me make it? <laughs> I swear to God! I swear to God. <laughs> it's like, no, nah, man. He's like, oh, I swear to God. I always got to make these fucking hooks. <laughs> That's bumping whatever you know? there's a new LG track. The, the, the hook. Okay. The, um, they're out of the seven rappers, three of them were good. So that's a no for me. I don't know if there were seven or six. I think there were six. I think there were five. Yeah. I think there were two. No, because there was... <laughs> I see what you did there. Brody. There was the first guy. 
Play the second guy. Jada U the UK. And then, then there was uh well, fuck, bro. Was then there was the chopper dude. Chopper dude. And then the British was, guy was the British last guy. guy. Yeah, the last guy. That's yeah. six. That's delicious. Dude, it, was, uh, it was, yeah. All right. Yeah. Fuck, bro. Fuck, bro. All right, Space Case. Um, so this track was like a roller coaster ride for me. <laughs> um, the first dude, like, I don't know, like, he sounded good it's not it's not my flavor you know what i'm saying but like he sounded good um he didn't really say anything too impressive to me uh once again though the ad lib game man like the backups and ad libs and shit like there was some clever shit going on there um and then like when the hook came in like i actually felt the hook the first time because it was like you know the fucking new melody that came in and like i think just the you know can you help me the way it was like spaced out and shit like it was just it was pretty dope it really gave the melody and the beat like a lot of room to shine. You know what I'm saying? So I thought that was dope. Um, the second dude came in and like I felt a lot better about the track. Like I mean, like the second dude was dope. Uh, is that who you're talking about? Is the Playboy, Playboy, whatever the fuck his name is? Yeah, Playboy the Beast. Playboy the Beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was nice. Um, and then the hook came in again. And it's like, okay, <laughs> so now you already know that they're going to be doing this between every verse. Um, and then the, the next guy came in and like, I don't know, he sounded, I don't know, he, he was saying some things, but like he sounded pretty bored. Like he didn't sound like he was having a great time doing this track. It was almost like another one of those tracks where like, I don't know, like somebody asked him to get on it and he was like, you know, I'm not really feeling this track, but I'll fucking put something to it. And then the hook came in again. And then the fucking chopper guy came on and he didn't even finish his verse. And there's like a whole lot of dead space between his verse and the hook. And like it's it's awkwardly done. So whoever engineered and, you know, edited this track, um, I think they should have definitely put a lot more TLC into it because like just taking that out or fucking filling it with something or something could have like changed the vibe completely. Um so yeah so then there's the open space after the chopper dude the chopper dude wasn't very impressive to me i'm not a big fucking chopper fanatic to begin with um and i mean like he congratulations like you can rap fast as fuck good for you i don't know what you're saying i don't know if there's any quality in your bars um but i mean you held it down speed wise words per minute wise um but yeah i think you were i think you forgot some of the words at the end or something then it goes back into the hook and then the next dude that came in um he was pretty solid he once again like he sounded like he was kind of bored with it as well uh but he made it all the way through the verse the hook came in the british dude came on now with british rappers you know like ever since the whole fucking grime wave you know the uk fucking grime shit like a lot of uk rappers they just they sound so fucking bored when they rap and they're boring to listen to but this guy had some fucking like some um I don't know. He he wasn't monotone, you know what I'm saying? Like he had some emotion behind his shit, um, and he was also spitting spitting some fucking shit. The UK shit doesn't bother me, you know. I'm I'm into fucking hip hop from all parts of the world, you know what I'm saying? So uh, the UK shit don't bother me whatsoever. Um, so solid verse. I don't really like how we came into the hook, um, but you know that that hook shouldn't have been there again to begin with, and then. Um, and then what? Then I went to the last guy. And I don't know. It it was dope. It was a dope verse. I don't think it was like a strong anchor, strong closer, and anything like that. But um, yeah, it was it was all right. Then the hook came in again. And then the beat went on for a little bit at the end. And then, you know, they turned a, a five and a half minute song into a seven minute song. So I don't know. To me, I I don't want to listen to it again. Um, I'm definitely interested in hearing some more from some of the artists, um, that Playboy cat that you're talking about for sure. Um, I'll send you some of his stuff. What's that? I'll send you some of his stuff. Yeah, yeah, I definitely want to hear some more of his shit. Um, yeah, the, 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 um, the British dude, um, I don't remember who else. Fuck, I don't know. I'm actually curious to hear what they all sound like on their own, because even the dude in the 
on the first verse, like I said, like it's not really my style, but he was clever with like the the ad libs and the backups and shit. And you know, as I think I said earlier in this fucking episode, that I'm a sucker for that shit. So, but whatever. Regardless, no, it gets a no from me. I'm saying no. All right. So we got one yes, two no's. It all comes down to pesto. So, uh, yeah, Brody w- went first. So I've heard Brody rap on, a, on other stuff before. Um, and uh, I – so I also appreciate the ad lib game. Um, it's Again, it's also not usually my style. Um, the styles that you rap in aren't usually my style, but – I can always see past that. Like, if I can see past that for quality and content, for like everybody can do your own thing, and I, you know, dope is dope. Doesn't matter to me. Um, I don't think this was one of your stronger verses, in my opinion, and I think what this one was lacking um, was just a little bit more intricacy on vocabulary. Really, I think a lot of times uh, people sit down and have a set time in their head. I'm gonna spend to write a verse, or I'm gonna do this, and if it doesn't happen, you kind of force it. Um, I think we can all be guilty of that. And it's not bad to just get that shit out. But it's like, man, it's like, dude, sometimes just going after a verse a bunch of times until you really nail it is worth, get, you know, getting the juice out of it. And I think that, you know, with, with something like this, when you're doing a cypher, um, the goal is always to be the dopest on the cypher. So I think that, like, just putting a little bit more... Um, you know, rinse and repeat process on the writing behind that. Um, I, I, you know, I can get behind the delivery. I also really like the ad libs. Um, your engineering's always been pretty dope as well. Um, the hook doesn't bother me on its own. Like I said, if it went just once in the beginning, once at the end, I can, I can get behind that. But with this many MCs on a track, it really does like you as the listener start to feel like you're the one saying that. Like, would you, would you fucking help me not blow my brains out from having to continue? Like, this isn't, this is earworming me for the wrong reasons. It's because it's being yeah. played too many times. And that's like, a, it's the baby shark effect. Um, and that, that's something <laughs> that I always try to avoid with hooks. Um, and I think it's something that, especially on a cypher track, when you have a lot of unique styles coming together, um, it takes away some of that shine by isolating everybody away from each other with those hooks. So it's, um, I would have liked to have heard, you know, people, how, how it would have sounded with this guy blending into this guy. Cause sometimes on a cypher, dude, those blends are the best part. Um, and, yeah. uh, I thought, I agree. I think Playboy the Beast was dope. Um, I thought the third guy was, was dope as well. I think, uh, the guy that was chopping, um, I agree, man. Like, I feel like some of it was, was, you know, well done. And then when it went really, really fast, I feel like you were just saying guttural noises with no actual words to them, or you were like not actually enunciating the words enough for them to be coherent. And I think that's a problem that some, some people that chop can fall into is trying to rap for the sake of rapping fast. Like they said before, I think content over, and quality of content over over that any day. So um, I would have liked to have heard you slow that down a little bit and, and maybe say a little more without having to use as many words. Um, and then the this this particular British accent is one that it's hard for me to get past because there's a lot of people that we know that have uh, sullied it for us. Uh, Winnie the Pooh, Cuban Pete. There's a, there's, a, there's, there's a few of them that have that. I don't know what particular British accent it is, but it's one that I, I'm just predisposed to not be a huge uh, fan of. But I do agree with Space that uh, I think that, you know, like, that's your voice. It's That's not, that's. I mean, I'm not going to say that, like, hey, you shouldn't rap because I don't like your voice. You know, there's people that don't like my voice. You know, it doesn't keep doing your fucking thing. I think what, what you're doing is, is dope, though, because I think that, like, you, like Space said, enunciating what you're saying, um, putting the pizzazz on it. Um, None of what you said was particularly impressive to me in that verse, but I think you definitely have the skills to be a dope MC. Um, and then I think the the guy that closed it out um, was was solid. He wasn't like incredibly impressive to me. It wasn't like oh I see why they put him at the end, um, but he he didn't feel like he didn't belong here, and he didn't you know it was it didn't feel out of place. I thought he was he was very solid. Um, 
I agree with space though. It's not something like it's something that like once was enough for me. Um, probably mostly because of that hook, man. Because like I think maybe just isolated without the hook in there all those times, uh, this could potentially be a track that I would have said yes to. But I'm also gonna give this one a no. Dude, well, that, you know what's fucked up is that we we said no to both the songs that didn't include our own artists. I said no to mine. You fucking. Yeah, but I mean, as a whole. Like, <laughs> as a whole? Oh, yeah, asshole. It's not a good look. It's not a good well, look, I mean, boys. But that just goes to show you that we're not afraid to we can't, uh, be we honest. Can't control, we can't control what gets sent into us, though. And, like, like if if you fuck I'm, with I'm these tracks, I mean, you know, definitely show them support. I think we should put them all in the, in the description. I'm not going to lie, man. There's plenty of fucking Except space case frames. Video tracks, Trump service tracks that people could send in, and I'd be like, no. <laughs> for real, I mean, there's ones that I would definitely vote no for. Same. Uh, to put on playlists. I you agree. Know. <laughs> I so, agree. I think we all have songs yeah. like that. Right. So, fuck, LG, boys, that took us. Track. I mean, there's, you know, there's a couple. I think really there's only one pesto track that I'd probably say no to, but still. What I mean, track is it? <laughs> don't tell him just just play it oh he doesn't, he, play doesn't it, he doesn't he doesn't like walrus it's not oh. no it's not that i don't like walrus i just it doesn't have a lot of like replayability over over. right exactly yeah exactly and that's another thing about these playlists is like i mean i'm trying to i'm trying to cater you know i'm trying to think like is this playlist material you know what i'm saying I like agree. is this something that i would just let play while i'm at work or is this something that i would just let play and fucking vibe out to or is it you know so it's not even it's not even about me liking the song or not it's like is it something that i can fucking listen to yeah right. so uh yeah the music reviews this time took us about an hour and 20 minutes and i think it's partially because uh a lot of those stuff, like technical difficulties was a little bit but a lot of it was because there were uh, longer tracks. Um, yeah. The four we have no point of... Yeah, so it's like, you know, it happens. But uh, but, but that being said, uh, we're going to kind of switch things up this week. Uh, we're not going to just have like a, a, a one topic. I got a bunch of different shit, uh, some questions that I'm going to ask. And then uh, anybody that wants to answer or has one, um, some of these will be for everybody. Some of these maybe. Maybe you don't have an opinion, and uh, that's okay, too. But this first one is, uh, what is everybody's best cool. show experience as a performer and as, as a fan? Before, Okay, Nate, what did you... I was going to say, I just we just all received uh, February's monthly track. Okay. I think we should check it out after the podcast. Yeah. Oh. It'll be up on the channel by the time this is posted. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Okay, right. so your best show experience as a performer and as a fan, and whoever wants to go first, just just go ahead. You go Not hard, everybody at once, though. That's a tough one. I I don't even know. Um, as a fan, probably my very first concert, which was White Zombie, and when I was in fucking sixth grade, just because like I didn't know what to expect. You know what I'm saying? Like I've I think I've seen small clips of like metal shows here and there, like on shows and movies and shit like that. But, but to experience it, you know, <laughs> there, <laughs> especially at 12 years old, you know what I'm saying? And it's just me and Mr. Blue, two fucking little kids at this fucking white zombie concert. It was, uh, what it was, the uh, the toadies, the super suckers, and white zombie. And it was like we were in the pit the whole time, like. You know, it was fucking, uh, it, I don't know if any show will ever fucking top that, but as a performer, dude, it's, it's too hard to say. Um, there's some memorable experiences from certain shows and shit like that, but like, which one was the best? I have no idea. You don't have any, so, any that come to mind? Um, not really. No, I mean, no, <laughs> no, I don't just cause like. I don't know. I mean, certain ones hold weight for certain reasons, but like, but then I think like, well, fuck, you know, like this show is dope too. Cause I mean, right away, like my mind goes to the fucking shows at the rave and shit, but it's just kind of like, because the numbers were there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but it's like, I don't know. There's, 
I don't know, man. <laughs> but that's dope too, man. Like that's that's a cool experience getting to play in front of a like. What's the difference between playing in front of like how many people did you play in front of when you played at the ring? Uh, I don't know how many you think were there for the Wu Tang show, Scotty. Probably in the room that we were in, because I was connected to that bar, like probably like 150, maybe. No way. Yeah, dude. I feel like there was more than that. Well, I mean, in our vicinity, not like counting all the way to the main stage. I know, I'm talking about just in that room. On the stage that we performed at. Well, regardless, I mean, it seemed like quite a few people. And I mean, like, the <laughs> the feedback was dope. And I feel like, you know, when you put on a performance for a, 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 an audience that's not your audience, um, the feedback and shit is genuine. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, if there's something I'm not feeling, it's, you know, I don't usually clap for it and shit like that. Or do I? Maybe I do. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Sometimes I do, I guess. I just all of a sudden started thinking about the Cottonmouth King show, and I was like, yeah, some of those motherfuckers I weren't feeling, but I clapped anyways. <laughs> but regardless, man, regardless, um, I don't know, because I feel like, but then I think about, like, some of the shows at, like, you know, Bricklot and shit like that, like, that were down by the crowd, we're not on a stage, you know what I'm saying? And to me, that's a whole different fucking energy as well, because it's like, you can interact with the people who are there, you know what I'm saying? Like... Um, when Shao, usually when fucking Shao plays, like we used to, we got we got mosh pits going. You know what I'm saying? And like, that's just that's a whole different fucking vibe right there. So it's like, man, I don't know. I, I don't fucking know. What? Fuck you for asking that fucking question. Why? What do you What do you got there, guy? <laughs> I got I got it, man. I got it. So as a fan, um, <clears throat> it would probably have to be. Uh, when I went to Rockfest when I was, I think I was 16, um, I went with a bunch of friends, and I think it was Thursday or Friday night, Rob Zombie was the headliner for that, and uh, he just, like, he got into it, like, big time. He loved the, the crowd response and everything. He came out, he's wearing a big trench coat, he has the whole fucking production, you know, he's, he's fucking well yeah. known for that, and he had, he was in full force. Um, he killed the performance. Uh, and his crowd work too was both hilarious and like rock, you know, like there was somebody, he, he was talking about people taking pictures of him and he said, I don't give a fuck if you guys take pictures of me, but if you're going to take pictures of me, I don't want you to take pictures of me with one of those shitty camera phones. So if you're trying to take pictures of me with a shitty camera phone, put it away or I'm going to break it. And someone in the front row did not put away their shitty camera phone. He fucking grabbed it, snapped it in half and just threw it into the crowd like he fucking launched that thing <laughs> um and that was pretty yeah, awesome yeah. and uh by the end of his set like it seemed like his set okay his set should have been over he's playing an extra song okay because he's the headliner that makes sense then he's playing another one and he's playing another one. and by this time he's down to just his fucking black t-shirt and nothing he's sweating like a motherfucker and uh they're trying to shut him off and he's like, nah, fuck that. I'm going to keep going. Like, Because everybody's still giving him huge response. Everybody's yelling one more song. He just kept going. He had, I think he got a Disturbing the Peace ticket for not stopping his performance. Like They, they nice. were like, hey. Nice. He was like, I don't care. And he blew his voice out that night. And then he was supposed to play Rock USA, I think, the next night. He couldn't. And everybody that wanted to see him at Rock USA was like, fuck Rob Zombie. That guy sucks. And I'm like, nah, dude, he fucking rules. He gave us our show and your show. <laughs> he gave us both of the shows in the same night. Hell yeah. <laughs> it was fucking great. So that was, that was a, you know, that's one that sticks out to me. There's been a lot of great experiences as fans, of course, but that one, that one's always held a special place. Um, and it was one of my first big shows as well. Um, as a performer, though, I would have to say, and you're going to laugh at this, you're going to be like, no fucking way, that was your favorite? It was actually when I backed you up at the fucking show, when you signed up as Sheol, and then fucking Tega dropped out, so it was just a space case set, and you asked me to back you up, and it was opening for Mike Jones and fucking the guy that played Biggie in the Notorious movie. Jamal Gravy. Jamal Gravy, boy, yeah! And we fucking, we were like second or third. And I think the first act, what was that fucking guy's name? That like short, he was like, 
of he had the fucking most ridiculous name. Um, big. Yeah. It was like big something, and he was just like a fucking short little beefcake dude. And he was hilarious. And he was the only person in the audience that was feeling what we were doing when we were doing your set. Everybody else was there for, like, the over-vocal, clubby pop shit music, like, just to, like, club out. And that was, that was not our crowd. And there was a lot of fucking people jammed in this room not paying attention to us, except for, like, three or four people in the front that were like, hell yeah! You know, that, that were actually there for the show. And then... We fucking ended up getting fucking cornered by, I think it was drunk Reed Stanton, you know, gets fucking Space Case cornered. Space Case is too fucking goddamn polite. He won't end the conversation. There's a blizzard going on. And then we fucking had breakfast sandwiches from Quick Trip on the way down. And these, him and T-Bags are both like, T-Bags especially is like, we got to have a breakfast sandwich. So we get out of the venue. Today's the day, too, man. It is. You know it's it? the anniversary, bro. It came up on my Facebook, dude. It fucking... Right. Yeah. Right. He, uh, we, we get in the car, and he tries to take us to a quick trip that's closed, and it's in the middle of fucking... I think it's at Random Lake. It's, like, way off mm-hmm. in the middle of fucking nowhere. And then he tries to take us back to the highway just using GPS, and it takes us down this country road. And it's, like, five hours into this blizzard, and we're in a fucking tiny little car. And we made it about halfway up this hill that was like a point two miles from the highway. And we got stuck on the hill. And then we tried to Beverly Hills Ninja it. We went all the way back. And then we tried to fucking ram. We didn't get quite as far. We tried that twice. And we're like, we're losing progress, boys. Fucking space and T-Bags ended up pushing the car while I... I got in the fucking driver's seat and gunned it, and they were shoveling it out with a keyboard that they had in the trunk. Like, it was just, like, an absolute shit show. So many trucks drove past. Trucks trucks that were going to plow people out with chains drove past, and they would stop and go, oh, you guys got help coming? We're like, no, there's no fucking help available, apparently. And they're like, oh, man, I'd help, but I gotta go plow. All right, hope you get out of here. And they'd fucking leave. That happened like three or four motherfuckers. There. There's one on the Facebook video that happened that fucking pulled up in a giant like F-350. And he was like, you guys, you know, he didn't even stop, I don't think, in the video. You know, it's like, dude, there's so am many like fucking people. Only one, am I like the only one who thinks that Pesto's doing an impression of me? He does that. When I do what? No. Oh! No, I'm not doing an impression of you. Driving. <laughs> yeah, this guy just fucking keeps going. It's like, oh, great. That's fucking really nice. Thank you, guys. Um, but yeah, it took us, I think, three hours to get up that hill. And then we fucking drove. By the time we got back to Sturgeon Bay, I had a parking ticket for parking overnight when it snowed that I had to go pay. Because I didn't intend to be parked on the street overnight. But we got stranded for so damn long that it was stuck overnight. We didn't get back till like, I think it was 9 a.m. Yeah, but the yeah. triumph of the fucking breakfast sandwiches that the feast we had after we got to that quick trip is one of <laughs> legends, dude. It was like fucking nine breakfast sandwiches went down on the way to from Green Bay to Sturgeon Bay. Just breakfast sandwiches, fucking sodas. It was it was an absolute Yeah, that's that's something it was it was a shit show. And the show did kind of suck, but it is my favorite because it's just like that's that those are the things that I can appreciate, man. It's like the experience and the uniqueness of an experience and like just spending that time with someone like space where we can look back on that moment and laugh our asses off for years to come is like that shit's super valuable to me. So that's definitely my favorite show. I see. Oh, yeah. see I wasn't I wasn't even thinking about including the personal experiences into the the you know, I was just thinking about the fucking show itself, not necessarily the before and after. You weren't even thinking, and the but, thinking got you thought out. But yeah, whatever. Whatever, motherfucker. In that case, that would narrow it down. But whatever. Let's go on. I want to hear what fucking Scotty looks like. He's, like, dying to say something. Nate's frozen on my screen, so I don't know what his facial expression oh, is like. Oh, he's got, his, he's got his ball like, sack out. Okay, so he's not very interested in this conversation, it seems, though. I, uh, so, all right, okay, go ahead. 
<laughs> I'll put my balls away. Go ahead. Um, I don't know. It's pretty easy to cite. So Uncover your mic. I'm I'm not covering my mic. Okay. It's pretty easy to cite the Wu-Tang show because that was like the first big show that we did. And I, that was the first time I ever signed someone's shit when I walked off stage. So it's like, that's pretty dope. And I don't know, but. Uh, I, I guess as an artist, I think my favorite show was, uh, I don't remember if it was Dizzy Disaster Show or the King Magnetic Show where the homie uh, Sean Smith was there with Brutal Beats and we're at uh, Gilligan's and the fucking system was wanging so hard in there that yeah. the feeling literally fell down on the performers mid-show and it was just a fucking rager, dude. It was it was like such a good fucking time. The yeah. vibe was fucking electric in there. Yeah, that was the uh, that was the dizzy disaster Judas Priest, the 144,000 crew. Yeah, that's that was a good fucking night, man. Dude, that was so dope. And like, there's something to be said about when you bring hip hop to a small town. Like all all the tours and shit that we've had of people coming up here and stuff. Like they fucking love it up here because. Small towns are starved for that shit, and the turnout's usually better because the whole fucking population of this dumb, dinky little town is like, yeah, we want to go to a fucking hip-hop show without going to Milwaukee or whatever. And, um, yeah, it's it's it was super dope vibes that night. So I think as an artist, like, I don't even remember if I... I may have gotten drunk and forgotten some bars. I have no fucking idea. Yeah, right. Doesn't happen. But um, <laughs> I re I remember that night vividly. Like that was a fucking dope ass night. Yeah. I think. Yeah, sure. the just, well, I don't, fuck, because I did that Dead Mouse show in Milwaukee too. At most, which ironically was the after party club for the Wu-Tang show that fucking knocked my dick in the dirt. If nobody knows about that, like it was so after the show, the after party of the Wu-Tang show was at most in green Bay, M O C T. It was a club and it was forties night and someone got into it and busted a 40 over someone else's head before Wu-Tang got there. Cause like we were artists, we were allowed to go up in the VIP. I was like, fuck dude, I got blunts rolled. Like I'm going to smoke with method, man. This is goals, fucking goals. And um, <laughs> then that fight broke out, closed the fucking club down and kicked everybody out. And I was like, shit, it's fine. Yeah, I forgot all about that, man. Dude, oh, I was so mad. Well, more more so sad because that was like, that was goals, as I said. But that that was an experience with the Dead Mouse shit too, because that was during uh, Pride Fest in Milwaukee, which is right down the street from most. Like I I had no idea so many gay people could break dance. <laughs> fucking time, dude! It was an amazing time. That was super vibes too. But, I think between that and the Wu Tang show, as far as seeing artists perform, um, those were those were it. Dope, dope, dope. Nate, you were dying to say something before. Did you forget it, or do you still got it? No, I still got it. Um, I mean, it wasn't a hip hop show that I'm talking about, and I didn't, uh, I didn't pay for my seat, so. My pops got us a gig working security at uh, Rock USA in Oshkosh. You, you know, you guys are also from Wisconsin, so you probably oh yeah have heard of it. Um, and it was it was the first time I ever saw a Twisted Sister, and I am a die like diehard fan of their fucking that their album Stay Hungry. Um, but. Seeing that shit live was dope as fuck. I wasn't supposed to be looking, but I was fucking looking. 
as far as performing goes, I don't know. We, me and Bump, like before we took a hiatus and in, in making music and stuff, we had this uh this show here that was a fundraiser to get us gas money and travel funds to go down to a uh, a show in Springfield, uh, Missouri. Um, we went down there and that was a hell of a time. They loved us there. Um. And like the shit that we we were doing then, like I'm I'm kind of kind of not even a fan of our of our own music back then, you know. But but uh, it was a fucking great performance. That that um, Scotty mentioning how he stepped off stage and that that other show, the Wu Tang show, was the one where he first signed something for somebody. This that show in Missouri was that for me. We were opening for the Bot Boys. It's pretty, pretty cool. And it was a fir- our first time going outside of our area doing something. Yo, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Hi, this is Megan Stewart. What's up? What's up, dude? What up, guys? Bro. Hi, bro. Back on you. I Hi, did a bro. bunch of work today. I made a. Uh, the Two Face monthly video. Nice, nice. I had to, I had to make it twice because I fucked up the first. I actually fucked up again. Uh, we actually, third time. we actually were, are planning on watching it after. We'll probably talk here for another twenty oh. minutes, but then after the, after this shit, we want to probably watch that together. Um, the only thing I fucked up on is I forgot the intro that you gave me for the final cut. So it's like. It's not going to be too hard to fix it. I could just throw it in at the beginning of the video. But, well, okay. Way. okay. So, yeah, we were asking everybody kind of what their their favorite show experience was as both an artist and a fan. If you wanted to chime in on that. Mm, um, I think my first one... Uh, was one of the res rap shows that we did uh probably one of the first res rap shows because this is my first time seeing res rap perform and like i didn't know exactly how dope they were but they were like super fucking sick they had they practiced all the time they had really good fucking stage perf- like just a stage presence and shit they looked like some fucking all-stars but it was like our first show with them or one of the first shows with them but they uh they started fucking with us a lot after our first show with them but it was dope and uh yeah that's probably like my first favorite show but we've done so many dope shows since then it was so many shitty ones that bot boys one was fucking crazy it was like a fucking fun ass trip. We had a show in Bemidji as a fundraiser, and that show fucking went off perfectly. And then we had a fucking taco sale that went off perfectly. Uh, gathered all these funds, and then we traveled to uh, Springfield, Missouri, and uh, yeah, I got drunk as fuck. Got the bar owner. Nate got the bar owner and his fucking. Way younger fucking wife, just fucking. Dude, they were about the same oh, age. Just had plastic surgery on the. <laughs> I don't know. I was drunk. I, but I, no, was the plastic like, surgery wasn't here. It was. Um, yeah. <laughs> she bought but, the personality. Yeah. Hey, was was that the show yeah. you were talking about, Nate? Yeah. 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 I, I, I had some. I had some of the dopest dope that I've ever smoked. Yeah, like Barry White or something. <laughs> no, no, it was it was like grapefruit and uh, <laughs> I think it was like something like grapefruit Romulan or something. We but it had like bright there. orange hairs and it was fuzzy and we and were just purple, sitting there talking. Meat. It was wild. Yeah, dude, remember you fucking passed it to him? He took a hit and then passed it over there, and he's just talking in mid sentence. He goes. <gasps> And then he comes back and starts talking. He's just got like some shit hanging out of his mouth, and he's like, "Did I just throw up?" <laughs> We're like, <"Yeah." laughs> he was fucked up. He was like an old like, he looked like an old like biker, like a smaller dude, you know. Like, he looked, yeah, it's, it's funny as fuck, dude. 
That was a good show. Uh, and there was a guy there who fucking was from Minnesota. He's like, I'm from Minneapolis, and do you know uh, so-and-so? And it was just somebody I so happened to fucking know. <laughs> shut up about him, bro. I was in prison with him, dude. He gave me this dead dude. Ugly ass tattoo. Yeah, ugly ass. Like, <laughs> he's all trying to like hitch a ride back with us, and he's just like causing a fucking scene, like outside, all drunk as hell. And he bought me a drink, and I fucking went outside, took a sip of it, and I put it down, and he comes stumbling out and fucking lands on it. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, oh, it was like fucking dude. Yeah, that shit was crazy as hell. Uh, that was a dope show. The show that got us to that show was <laughs> whack as hell in my opinion, but Yeah. The uh, crowd the crowd was there to see the one moves. of the other openers and they were like like it was one of those situations where we got on this show. Fucking room and, full of thirsty rovers. And uh like there's a group that went on before us, and they kind of like heckled through the rest of the evening. Um, but we held it down. It was funny because we have this song called "Shit on a Hater," and yeah. that that song got them to fucking stand like deer in the fucking headlights. Yeah, and then we did a song called "Shout Out My Daddy's Nuts," another classic. <laughs> we fucking had them all just. They love the chips and dick. They love the chips and dick. <laughs> yeah. Well, they, were like, they were screaming, rejects. Yeah, was, dude. Uh, we got that off was stage. the click they were with. And it was like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we went outside weird. and, like, we didn't get no fucking cheering, no applause or nothing. We go outside and, like, a couple people walk up to us, hey, that's pretty dope. You guys just be, you know, actual bars, you know, just talking about dumb shit. And then we sat at the bar and then the guy that, was like doing the tour he fucking walked up to us and was like i don't know y'all were like that and he's like i got a place that'd be perfect and and he fucking put us on the missouri one and that's how that show happened that's dope that's pretty dope they said that they would anytime we we're on they'd play us again because that bar owner really liked this but that was like fuck seven eight years ago ten years ago longer than that. i'm big yeah. I know, right? He's like, he's dead. <laughs> oh, fuck. No, he's guy. around. <laughs> yeah. He's around. I actually okay, hit good, him up good. recently. But... <laughs> okay, good, good. I think he's around. <laughs> or somebody yeah. assumed his identity. Dude, that kind yeah, of... Just... That, the, the guy that you were talking about reminds me of this, like... One of my favorite areas at any show, it's like a zen area, is the, the, the smoking area when you step outside of the venue. Because it's like inside the venue very loud which is good it's it's great when it's loud and shit like that but you step outside for that cigarette and we live in wisconsin so a lot of times our shows are outside it's kind of cold in the winter because you get a lot of shows in the winter people want to go do shit and you step outside it's kind of chilly and it's it's like a sacred place for you know you can have some conversations and shit like that and the one show that we did in hartford at that dispensary i remember going there with you two guys and when you took that shot glass of smoke bump and then went outside <laughs> you, were, you were supposed to host and then like it was like I, I went out there and like chain smoked because you were like fucking your eyes were wide you're like i wasn't oh, even bumping anymore bro, bro yeah you were you were like fucking crazy. shedding your skin into a different he was fucking fresh boy yeah he was, was going back to fish boy, boy. <laughs> <laughs> like, i can't do it man i'm fish boy Bro, so I've been up hosting that show. Illegal, bro. That shit was so like I in the moment Man, I did feel illegal over there. I felt empathy <laughs> for you, but at the same time it was dude, outside of like knowing you're gonna be okay, it's really funny to look back on yeah. as a person that wasn't having the bad trip. Especially because you weren't like violent right. or anything like that. It was just existential crisis. Funny in the middle of fucking nowhere <laughs> like we are literally at this dispensary and the dispensary is in the fucking middle of nowhere and it's like you and jocko both went to a different universe jocko but jocko, <laughs> we didn't we didn't get to see his fucking. we didn't get to see his he was about, yeah he wouldn't see his transformation just no 
But he was tripping me out, man. He was just every, he had something to say about everything and like real estate and shit. What the fuck was he? <laughs> yeah, about? I remember that. I remember. Dude, I was like, like, "What the fuck, dude?" I was like, "Dude, I'm too high for that, bro." You called him out. You're like, "Fucking Jocko yeah. talking about real estate. Fuck you." <laughs> yeah. oh, Bump didn't even come inside the venue for like two hours. He just stayed outside. I don't know, bro. I couldn't go in the venue, bro. I fucking walked in and it reminded me of that rundown movie at the beginning when The Rock goes in there and he's like, I'm gonna that ring. And he fucking like, kicks your ass like the lights, bro. I just thought it was like some mob shit was gonna happen. Was strippers on the fucking. Dude, it was crazy, bro. I couldn't go in there. I was in a whole nother fucking universe, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> That's fucking. Yeah, that was bad. I never ever do it i like the idea of the whole shot thing but if that was like weed smoke i'd be able to handle it but that shit was like toxic ass fucking k2 mixed with <laughs> fucking dude it was fucked was like fucking but you made so much sense you were like the only way to counteract that is more drugs and yeah i, I did like, tell him that fuck I told him it fuck it is the answer's right there dude, it I works it works. I do that all day, man. I get told him. I was like, man. the only way you can beat a drug line. is with more drugs. And he was like, <laughs> yeah. You're right. <laughs> He's not wrong. Not I was like, Fucking pesto, just wearing his mask. Like, I'm all, you're here to kill me. Like, I'm so. He did say mad. that. He's like, You're here to kill me. <laughs> I'm like, Stand up. <laughs> just fucking just look at oh, yeah. all looking for fucking drones and shit. Yeah, no, that was Jesus fucked up. Christ. Check out my new book that I got at, at the Dollar Tree. Or my mom got it, but it's a fucking where I'm going to write my new raps. <laughs> the hot it's dog little, book? It's a little glizzy fucking journal thing. The glizzy the journal? Album. Yeah, the all the new has joined fucking, the glizzy gang. I know, right? Just, I was like, man, I should just give it to Nate, but I already wrote my name on it. But... Well, boys, we're, we're we're coming up on almost two hours here, so I think we're gonna yeah. probably wrap up this episode. But dude, this was a lot of fun. Um, appreciate everybody who sent in music. Definitely want to hear hear more from everybody. Um, appreciate all of y'all for for tapping in and uh, and, and hosting with me. This was uh, this was fun. I uh, definitely want to do more like this. Some more, Be on the more lookout for that new monthly track, February yeah. 2nd. Yes. I mean, I would like to just show people now if it'll play. It's not playing off the internet. It's well, it's going to be out before then, and it's probably going to sound like better. Well, we might as not well. Yeah, then we might as well. I was say, we game. might as well just play. Well, see, this is what I'm saying. Now. I'm saying we should end <laughs> the stream here, and then we can just have fun put it on the end of the video. So it's good audio quality for the listener. Fuck bro! Yeah, fuck bro! That. That's what we're gonna do. So, so fuck bro! We are at the end of this episode for the one that already came out. Yes. <laughs> fuck bro. <laughs> fuck bro. Alright, but here, I'll get it ready. Hey fuck bro, sorry to bother you, but uh, you got a couple of smokes I can get or some papers?